Welcome back to Explaining Everything, the channel where we dive into the stories and mysteries behind everyday things. Today's question comes from one of our inquisitive viewers, Pixel Penguin 42. Thanks for the suggestion, Pixel Penguin. You asked, why is the floppy disk the symbol for save? If you've ever clicked that little blue square and thought, what's this thing? And why does it look like something my grandparents might have used to store dinosaur selfies? You're not alone. Today, we're diving into the quirky history of the floppy disk and why it refuses to let go of its throne as the universal save icon. So, whether you're a tech history buff or just curious about why we're all still clicking on 1980s technology, stick around as we uncover the story of how the floppy disk became an accidental legend right here on Explaining Everything. First, for anyone who's never seen a floppy disk, hello Gen Z, imagine a giant save icon you can hold in your hand. It's a thin, square piece of plastic that stored data, usually measured in kilobytes or megabytes. For context, one floppy disk could barely hold a single low-quality selfie today. But back in the 80s and 90s, it was groundbreaking tech, like this was the Tesla of file storage. There were two main types of floppy disks, the giant, wobbly 8-inch one, basically a frisbee, and the smaller, sturdier 3.5-inch disk, which became the design for the save icon we know and love. These little guys were the go-to for storing homework, saving games, or transferring files before the era of email, cloud storage, and USB drives. Back then, you'd pop one into your computer and hope it didn't scream at you with disk not readable. Okay, so how did this clunky plastic thing become shorthand for save? Flashback to the late 1980s and early 90s. Software developers needed a way to visually represent the action of saving a file. Words like save file in Comic Sans just weren't cutting it. They needed something simple, universal, and this is important, small enough to fit on a pixelated computer screen. Enter the floppy disk. At the time, it was the tool for saving files. Everyone recognized it. It was like the avocado toast of storage, ubiquitous and slightly overrated. So early developers slapped a little pixel art floppy disk into their programs as the save button. It made perfect sense. But here's the kicker. As technology evolved, floppy disks didn't just become obsolete. They became ancient history. By the mid-2000s, USB drives and CDs had taken over, and soon after, cloud storage killed the need for physical file saving entirely. Yet somehow, the floppy disk stuck around in the digital world. Why? Here's where things get funny. The save icon didn't evolve because no one wanted to fix what wasn't broken. Floppy disks were already imprinted into our collective digital consciousness. Changing the icon would have been like deciding the pause button shouldn't look like two vertical lines anymore, or replacing the heart emoji with an anatomically accurate heart. Sure, it might make sense, but people would riot. Plus, let's be real. What would replace it? A USB stick? That's not exactly intuitive. A cloud? It's cute, but it doesn't scream save. Maybe a hard drive? Good luck explaining that to someone who's never cracked open a computer. The floppy disk was just iconic. Literally. And then there's laziness. Tech companies probably thought, why spend time and money re-educating the world on a new icon when everyone already understands this one? 
So, the floppy disk stayed. A relic of the past, stubbornly holding its ground in a world that had completely moved on. Now, here's the hilarious part. Today's younger generations recognize the save icon, but most of them have never seen a floppy disk in real life. It's like using a horse and buggy symbol to mean travel or a quill pen for texting. Kids are clicking a save button that represents technology so old it might as well be hieroglyphics. In fact, there are stories of kids asking, why is the save button a vending machine? Or what's that weird blue square? To them, it's just a symbol. It's lost all connection to its real world origins. It's pure digital abstraction. Like how the phone icon is still a handset, even though no one's used a rotary phone since the 90s. But maybe that's part of the charm. The floppy disk icon has become a little piece of nostalgia embedded in our modern tech. It's like finding a VHS tape in your attic or seeing someone unironically wear cargo shorts. It takes you back to a simpler time. It also reminds us of how far we've come. Saving a file used to require physical effort, you'd pop in a floppy, wait for it to whir, and hope your PC didn't crash mid-save. Today, saving is instant, automatic, and almost invisible. The save icon is a tiny homage to the era when tech was a bit clunkier, a bit slower, and a lot more hands-on. Will it ever change? Probably not. By now, the floppy disk is too ingrained in our culture. Even if we all collectively agreed to replace it, the alternatives just don't hit the same. It's like trying to replace the thumbs up gesture with a new hand signal. It's awkward, unnecessary, and probably wouldn't catch on. So the floppy disk lives on, a digital ghost haunting our modern interfaces. It's obsolete, irrelevant, and totally disconnected from the world we live in. But it's also comforting, reliable, and instantly recognizable. And isn't that what good design is all about? If you enjoyed this trip down memory lane, give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Also, if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for tuning in and join us next time here in the channel that answers all the why, what, who, where, and how questions you've always wondered about. Here on Explaining Everything.